A local contractor says he's the one who isn't being paid and it's by his own bosses. Since he is now owed more than $2,000, he reached out to us for some help. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Bisram is on the job and taking some action for him tonight. With every stroke of his paintbrush, a 50-year-old Patrick Reese wonders when he will get paid. We rehab a lot of houses. Uh, we work with investors, flip houses. He says his boss owes him $2,300. I want what I work for. That's it. You know, it's, I'm not asking for him you know, anything extra. I just want what, I, what I'm owed. Patrick says he's worked for JRW Contracting for about a year and a half. He's been slow on pay here and there, but he's always been straightforward, honest with us about it, saying, hey, I might be a couple of days late. But he says he's had enough. About two and a half weeks worth of work, and it's been about six weeks ago. Patrick says he's had to dip into his savings. Well, the savings are supposed to be for an emergency. He says an attorney for the company contacted him trying to negotiate what they can pay him. Today we talk with Patrick's boss, Roger Wood, over the phone. The quality of work wasn't quite superior, so my team is working to uh, finish up the, uh, the project. Suddenly, Wood claims the work wasn't done to his satisfaction, but tells us he is working to make sure Patrick has his money within the next two weeks. Now, as Patrick waits for his money, he's doing work at other homes, like this one in Redford, to make ends meet. I work for a living. I work really hard, and I expect to get what I'm owed. And Patrick says all he wants is his money that he worked hard for so he can move on and continue doing what he's been doing his whole life, rehabbing homes. Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.